Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and today we have another kit from JMS. This is the JMS Bear Guy Sign or Bear Guy 3. Let's go ahead and take a look at that head sculpt. That head looks fantastic, really adorable. We got movable, movable ears and then we have a little cute mouth right there that you can move as well. Now the mouth plate, you can remove that. And you can also remove the faceplate so that you can exchange it with another alternative faceplate and that gives you the angry eyes although even though it's angry it still looks adorable and the mouth you can open it so that you can connect a beam saber or a beam effect on that one and that is one of the features of the head unit right there now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stickers the stickers look really well, I can't say they're good, but they look nice, but the quality is terrible. The body unit really looks fantastic. I like the body unit. You can remove the ribbon, and you can connect this little attachment. We'll talk about that later, but overall, the body is very chunky and very big. Now, these little stubby arms right here, uh, I'll, I thought they're not really that articulated, but you can actually remove some of the pieces and connect an extender connection that makes it a little movable, and also you can connect the beam effects to this one. The leg are really fantastic they are articulated and I was amazed by the range of articulation on these little stubby legs right here they're really cute and now let's go ahead and assemble this kit let's connect the bottom half to the top half the bottom half is pretty much just the legs and I have no issues connecting the legs to the body because it's really good I mean the fittings are fine the problem is when you connect the arms there's a little bit of resistance to the PC parts the PC parts are really the issue right here they're kind of tight and same goes with the left arm unit you just really have to make sure you angle it so that the PC part can fit in properly and that is pretty much it. Now the head unit also experiences a little bit of resistance. Again, most of the issues that comes along with this kit is because of the PC parts. The PC parts are a little th too thick, so when you try to connect it, it actually dislodges the connection from the head and it gives you these little gaps and these little seam lines and you gotta really just squeeze it in. Now, when you try to shake it, there's really nothing that falls off, although you can see those little gaps are still appearing because of the connection of the uh, the PC parts but overall the JMS bear guy son or mr. bear guy or bear guy 3 looks really adorable it looks fantastic I am so happy with this kit it has a good balance and there is really a good center of gravity to this kit you can connect these beam sabers to it and the extender connections for the arms uh, you can also use any generic beam effect to connect it to the mouthpiece and it still looks good you have like three a beam effect on the bear guy sign and the problem i guess it's not really a biggie but jms we expect them to give us a little bit of a freebie when it comes to the stands and this thing didn't come with a stand which is kind of odd because jms gives us that now uh, the bear guy sign really looks adorable so I placed it with the hello kitty from Gao Gao and they look amazing they look amazing together now the bear guy sign um, was shown in the build fighter series so here's some of the build fighter kits that we have in the bootleg scene so we have the Huyan models and I'm just really excited what the build fighter series uh, are what's going to happen to the build fighter series with these new bootleg companies coming out and let's go ahead and take a look at the gimmick right here. So the gimmick is that you can remove the ribbon and based on the manual, what you can do is you can take out a backpack. Uh, for example, this one is the Ale Strike backpack or the Ale Pack. And what you can do is you can connect that to the bear guy. But how do you do that? So there is a connector piece. This is that little piece that comes along to the backpack and you can connect it to any of the mobile suit backpacks that are out there, HG backpacks, and it looks really great. It is an added playability factor that comes along with this kit, and I am just really happy with that feature. So this is an added bonus. Now let's go ahead and try another backpack. Not all backpacks, by the way, are going to work with this. So there, I tried several, and this one works. So this one's from the Build Strike, and bada bing, we have a wonderful looking Bear Guy Sun full package that looks amazing you can try different types of backpacks and mostly the build fighter backpacks work on this now aside from that piece being a backpack connector you can also use that as a flight unit and now you can have the bear guy sign in its awesome cool pose 
And with that, let's talk about the things that I like about this kit. The plastic quality of JMS has been very consistent. They've been giving us really great quality plastic. The colors on the kit really pops. It's very vibrant. They have great details. Attention to the details right here. Nice accessories. And of course, this kit is very affordable. Now, as much as I like this kit, there are some flaws, so let's talk about the things that kind of suck. Number one, the stickers are just really horrible, and there are some minor fitting issues, especially when it comes to the arms and the head. Uh, I wish they placed a stand, and of course, the lack of opportunity to give us extra face plates, but overall, we're going to give this kit a 9 out of 10. It's still amazing. And that's pretty much all the time that we have right now, folks. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, click the like, hit the bell notification, and remember, thank you, thank you, thank you, till all are one. Peace out, rock and roll. Bye, everybody, bye!